Hi, and welcome to Biology Quick Bites. In this video series, we talk about concepts in biology which turns out to be simple but confusing sometimes. Today's installment, we're going to talk about glucokinase and hexokinase. Both of these are enzymes and let's see how they differ from each other and how these terms differ. So we know these enzymes are used in glycolytic pathway. And if we just recall and refresh our memory, we know glucose gets converted to pyruvate in this process. And that pyruvate is eventually used in TCA cycle. By the way, glycolysis generates ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell. Pyruvate generates also, uh, pyruvate gets into the Krebs cycle and ultimately in the electron transport chain, ATP is generated. Now our concern is the phosphorylation of glucose, which takes place with the help of hexokinase or glucokinase, depending upon the tissue type. So hexokinase and glucokinase both can trigger the phosphorylation reaction from glucose to glucose 6-phosphate. These enzymes are known as isozymes. So simply isozymes are enzymes that are different in terms of amino acid sequences and a little bit in terms of structure, but they are similar in terms of chemical reaction. Now these enzymes would display different type of chemical kinetics and they would have different regulatory properties. So in this video, we are going to look at all of these point of differences between these two enzymes. So let's begin. Glucokinase and hexokinase. Both of them have a tissue specificity. Okay. But most of the cases we will see hexokinase present in wide variety of tissues. Whereas glucokinase is very specific to liver hepatocytes and the pancreatic beta cells. So connective tissue, epithelial tissue or muscle tissue express hexokinase. Whereas liver and pancreatic beta cell express glucokinase. In terms of substrate specificity, they have very similar kind of substrate specificity. The name glucokinase is a bit misleading because glucokinase kind of suggests that it only acts on glucose, which is not true. It acts on any kind of hexose sugar. Now, let's talk about the enzyme kinetics. If we talk about the enzyme kinetics, we can already see from the graph, they have different type of Vmax and Km profile. Now, glucokinase has a much higher Km. That simply means that it has very low affinity toward glucose, but how that makes sense. In contrast, hexokinase has very low Km, that means it has very high affinity towards glucose and it requires very low to moderate concentration of glucose to get achieve a half saturation. So let's see how does this make sense. So in tissues like liver and pancreas, you have a hell lot of glucose. When glucose concentration is very high, you need to have a high Km, otherwise the reaction would saturate very fast and that is why glucokinase has a high Km, that means low affinity. But in tissues such as epithelial tissues, the supply of glucose would be relatively low compared to the liver and pancreas. That is why a high sensitivity towards glucose is important and that is why hexokinase has very low Km and high affinity towards glucose. This part is clear. So next we move on to the regulation part. So glucose gets converted to glucose 6-phosphate in glycolysis pathway. Okay. Now hexokinase activity could be directly inhibited when you have too much of glucose 6-phosphate. Because if you have too much of glucose 6-phosphate, you don't need to run glycolysis. You can deviate to pentose phosphate pathway or synthesis of glycogen. But glucokinase activity does not directly get inhibited by the glucose 6-phosphate. Instead, it gets indirectly inhibited by fructose 6-phosphate. So in terms of their regulation, we can also appreciate the differences. In short, in this video, we will learn how glucokinase and hexokinase are different from each other, though they are isozyme of each other and they catalyze pretty much the similar biochemical pathway or similar biochemical steps. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are preparing for IIT Jam, Jam uh, CSI or NET, GATE or GATE 2020, these videos will be very helpful for you. And if you want to join our Khan Academy, my courses are also available there. There are also very elaborated courses. So use my code EP, EP10 to get 10% discount. Stay tuned for the next video. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 B